Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. In the previous video, we had discussed about class Cyclostomata. In this video, we are going to discuss about superclass Pisces. Superclass Pisces is also known as fishes. It's commonly known as fishes. It includes two classes, class Chondrichthys and class Ostrichthys. In this video, we will discuss about class Chondrichthys. Chondrichthys are also known as cartilaginous fishes. Cartilaginous fishes and they are also known as elasmobranchi. They are marine animals, that is, they are not found in fresh water, they are found in marine water only. And these are predators. These are predators, that is, they hunt and feed on other smaller fishes and organisms. Endoskeleton is cartilaginous and notochord persists throughout life. Inside the body, there is a cartilaginous endoskeleton which supports the body and the notochord, it persists throughout life. Exoskeleton is made up of placoid scales. Placoid scales are also known as denticles because they have a layer of dentine covering uh, them dentine is a layer which is also seen in human teeth so these are also known as denticles these placoid scales cover the body of chondrichthys and teeth are modified placoid scales teeth are modified placoid scales for example a scale will grow in this manner and teeth grow in this manner so modified placoid scale which grow backwards they make the teeth so teeth and placoid scales are present in class chondrichthys respiration is through gills there is a covering known as operculum which covers the gills but it is absent in chondrichthys so operculum is absent mouth is present on the ventral side of body on the ventral side of body so if we draw a fish like this mouth will be present here on the ventral side mouth is here on the ventral side air bladder is absent which is why they have to swim continuously air bladder provides buoyancy to the body of fish but since it is absent they have to swim continuously even when they are sleeping otherwise they will sink in the water cloacal aperture is present Cloacal aperture is present. Cloaca refers to the common opening for genital as well as urinary tract. So cloacal aperture is present. Circulation is of close type. Heart is two chambered. Heart is two chambered, also known as venous heart. Talking about reproduction, sexes are separate, which means these are dioecious. Fertilization is internal, fertilization is internal, and they are mostly viviparous. Viviparous means that they give birth to young ones. They do not lay eggs, they give birth to young ones. Claspers are male copulatory organs. Male copulatory organs present on present on pelvic fins of males. These are copulatory organs present on the pelvic fins. Now Class chondrichthys, some organisms, some animals have a special organs 
called as ampulla of lorenzini which is a electro receptor electro receptor and it can also be used to generate electricity and for hunting poison sting it contains a poison for predation which is mainly used for predation to hunt other animals they are poikilotherms poikilotherms means they cannot maintain a constant body temperature they cannot maintain a constant body temperature so the temperature of the body will change with the change in environmental temperature this is in contrast to homeotherms this is in contrast to homeotherms which can regulate their body temperature such as humans humans have a constant body temperature irrespective of the external environment temperature but these animals they lack this ability and are known as poikilotherms in examples we have scoliodon which is known as indian shark or also known as dogfish this is scoliodon Pristis is known as sawfish. You can see the mouth has saw-like serrations, saw-like serrations, which is also it is it is also known as sawfish. Trigon is known as stingray. It has a poisonous sting. Torpedo is known as electric ray because it can produce electricity. through ampulla of lorenzini carcadon is known as great white shark now chimera it is a special fish because it is a connecting link between it is a connecting link between cartilaginous and bony fishes between cartilaginous and it is a connecting link between cartilaginous and bony fishes so with this we finish off with the topic class chondrichthyes see you in next video